So this is week five. This week, uh, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of the houses, updates. All the property you've, you've seen through the week so far, one, two, three, four, and now five. I'm gonna uh, go in and show you the progress that we've made on those projects. So enjoy week five, simple. Not too much funny's gonna happen this week. People, you know what, I get a lot of messages. I get messages from people, is it really you? Are you really joking around all the time? Yes, I am. Sean. Yeah. Do I joke around all the time? Is that really me? Yeah, 100%, 110% of the time. See? So this is Macbeth. So we have it all, looks like it's all painted. The pot lights are all in. And uh, see, it's all painted, it looks good. So they get the plates to put on, the kitchen's going there. Big, huge kitchen. We don't do the HDTV start to finish houses. I know we're putting out a video every week. So that's kind of tough to do. But if you follow us and you subscribe and you watch each week or every second week or whatever you decide to you will see a lot of these houses come to full completion it'll be fun so i'm going to go to the next one now and maybe i'll call somebody and joke around this is not staged this is you a natural occurrence of paint delivery well yeah i know but are you the guy that usually delivers it no <laughs> i'm not <laughs> okay i was just coming here to film this is not staged but i can't believe it because no. you're in this week's episode well fantastic sure so, sherwin williams cool Okay, yeah. well, we'll have to go back in time because I was just starting the show. Well, look, that'll be an interesting end. And you'll see us <laughs> meeting this guy dealing with their company. Come on in. <laughs> we're, we're finally getting to meet. Got Jeff. Can't come empty handed. Well, these are nice. Justin's with Sherwin Williams. You're going to. I want you explain what you were explaining to me the other day. The big thing that we push, obviously, is we are a paint company. We're Sherwin Williams. We're the biggest paint company in the world. And uh, you guys are the biggest. We are the company? biggest. We are the biggest, and that's that's pretty much. I mean, we do other things, but that is our bread and butter is is paint. The goal is not just to provide you paint, but obviously take that part of your business off your plate, so you don't have to worry about. Okay, what are you going to do? Like what? Well, are exactly. Just quick, bang, 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 bang. So we offer free delivery for all of our all of our uh, all of our customers. Um, in the commercial camera showroom, you get free delivery. We also do record keeping of ten plus years. Labeled by PO. Oh, so if a uh, client that bought our house calls us, says, "What well, did you paint the bedroom? You're, yeah. you're going to have it. We're going to have it. Um, also, you get me. Professional paint services. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's better. That's good. So people always say, how do you do so many flips? We probably do, to be honest, too many. I have a house addiction, but how we do it is we have, like you've seen, three or four project managers. You've seen Kelly, Sean, Aaron, if you watch the other shows. They each run seven or eight properties and then I meet with them and we pick everything and then we juggle where we're gonna send plumber, electrician, carpenter. But those project managers, Aaron, Kelly, and Sean, no offense, Sean, but women project managers are amazing. Here's, this is Aaron's house. She's like literally almost finished. We met her, remember when she said all the colors? It was all different, different colors. This is Wilson. Almost finished. Like, put the toilet seat down. Week one's vlog, I was in this room and I said, this is gonna be one big bedroom. There's a closet here. Then there's a closet over there. We're gonna put the TV there. So this is, it used to be a two bedroom. We made it a one bedroom. This one was uh, pre-sold. So the buyers help pick all the finishes. So that's one advantage. Doing pre-solds I find are, are tough, but the advantage if the buyer comes early, they get to pick all their flooring. They can pick their countertops, light fixtures, that sort of thing, instead of having me do it. So see the fireplace in the back and uh, the open concept. Okay, so we got a garage door. Sometimes when the ceilings are low, you gotta be, uh, it's a different kind of kit. We use this guy all the time. How do you put a garage door in such a low ceiling? What we have now, basically, it's a combination of tracks to, to uh, um, compensate for when we are lacking standard yeah. hardware. Okay. So then they go into low headroom hardware. Low headroom simply refers to the fact that our headroom uh, yeah, yeah. clearance required is 12 inches. And if we're below 12 inch standard, then they incorporate a double tracking system to compensate for the hardware to make this door go in. So if this space years. here is four inches, you four can Four inches, it. I can still do a, a front spring mount. Oh, that's the, incredible. The spring is what basically is the encumbrance of a door travel. It's gotta be, this door has to travel free of encountering that spring. The other option is if they don't have enough room, they will mount the spring at the rear. Uh, one of my houses before, the ceiling was low and I had the motor you do those two? It's jack shaft operator. 
Are those more expensive? They are more expensive, but they do the job. The other ones were not possible in the past. Plus, yeah. they don't reverberate through the building the way that these do, because they're, they're mounted either above a front a sitting room area, yep. or they're mounted above a bedroom. Yeah, yeah, my bedroom was above the garage. Maybe that's why we had it. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Everything resonates. These doors are, are made with styrofoam, yeah. and the glue on the styrofoam was the, was the structure of the door. Now that the glue has let go over the years, now you got this kind of motion and sagging. And it's kind of aggravated by the fact that you got the push and pull of this automatic door opener. Well, thanks for squeezing us in. Aaron and Sean are meeting the guy we met at the shop, the Sherwin Williams guy. So Did you really think I wasn't coming? We were almost productive till you showed up. It's more or less whatever you guys feel you're losing time from on the paint side of things we can try to find a way to, you know. What's the realistic or average like delivery time from the time I text you or yep. call in to actually getting there? Uh, it probably wouldn't take us more than half an hour to make the, to complete the order. And then if we send it out like in-house, if the truck goes out, it's probably, unless there's any orders already gone out, it's probably another half an hour to get it. Uh, if we send a local courier, most of them have a, a two hour window, delivery window. Mm -hmm. Are you a Red Sox so, fan? I am a Red Sox fan, but we were recently in Boston for a Celtics game a week ago, and the day that the, uh, this cheating scandal news broke about Alex Cora and the um, this poster was at the the bar we were at. He was supposed to show up. Well, he's supposed to show up next week there for a meet and greet. Uh, he didn't show up. I'm assuming this is canceled. Well, you know what? That brings up a point. A good friend of mine, Donovan, is the head honcho, like a trainer for the Blue Jays, Dun oh, yeah. Dunedin, and he just went to the Yankees. Oh, We're not I friends anymore, Donovan. You're watching this, no more friends. There's something about a new garage door. I love it. It's the name is U Door. I wonder is his last name. Is it working? It's about it's about uh, tweaking. Is it a color? Because it doesn't look white. It's it's slate gray. Okay, so you can pick a color and get it ordered in the color you want. You can get many optional colors, yes. I got a personal question. Yes. Do people give you a hard time about your salt and pepper hair? Not yet, no. Oh, I They're get it all the time. <laughs> Is it gonna, can we shut it? I'll go into the programming. That's for up. I wanna go down. Click for down. Awesome. Wow. I should have them come to my place. I don't think mine sits perfectly on the bottom. Gotta maybe get them to come and do an adjustment. So Kelly, this is uh, I Yeah, like I was talking with the project managers. I have stuff in my teeth. You have stuff in your teeth? Let's see. Let's look. <laughs> what do you have? What are you talking about? Gum? No, I had a rat for lunch. Oh. I really do. <laughs> We've seen the houses. Kelly, the project manager, one of them. I was just explaining how it kind of all works. Yeah, how it works. Then we take all this footage and we bring it in to Dave. Hey, Dave, baby. He's editing a podcast right now, the one with Jeremy. It's probably already out if you're seeing this video. So that's the end of episode five or week five. And uh, we'll see you next week.